Welcome to another edition of the Recruiting Scoop, brought to you by Red Ritter Outfitter, the fans' favorite since 1975. I'm Jared Johnson. I have yet more good news for Red Ritter fans out there as Texas Tech picked up another commitment uh, Saturday, this time from three-star safety Malik Escara. Uh, and really nice pickup here. 6'3", 185, was a hurdler as well, in, uh, or has been in high school. He's out of a Colleen Shoemaker High School. Um, just a really nice commit. Yet another defensive back that's uh, three safeties with this class. And uh, there's some corners, too, in the mix that are really good. Really nice defensive back class to add on to what they uh, landed, what they signed uh, in 2023, which was a really good class. Some four stars in there. Some four stars in this one. Escara is rated as the number 51 safety in the country. The number 80, 81 overall recruit, regardless of position in Texas, according to... 24-7 sports. So really nice pickup. He chose the Red Raiders over schools like TCU, Oklahoma State, Oregon State, Nebraska, Vanderbilt. So this is a dude who's long and he can run, which is a common theme for uh, this Texas Tech coaching staff. It's what they look for, guys who run track. I mean, a lot of hurdlers uh, on the last two commitment lists, the last two classes, a lot of guys who uh, are long and can run. I mean, that's that's the theme. And uh, Escara certainly uh, shows that on his huddle highlights. Uh, I, you know, his stats aren't like booming, but they're good. Uh, he had over 60 tackles, a couple stops for loss, four interceptions, you know, a uh, couple forced fumbles, fumble recovery. So, good player, um, good athlete, and just adds more depth to Texas Tech's defensive backfield. And the Red Raiders still has a uh, still have a top 30 class. Um, they're now they're behind Texas and Oklahoma in terms of the Big 12. Of course, they'll be going after this year. So of the new schools, the four new schools who have joined, and the eight uh, or the other seven returning schools, Tech's number one in terms of their 2024 recruiting class. That's 18 commits. Like I said, three safeties, nine of the 18. So half the class are Texas top 100 recruits, and all of them are either by the 24-7 Sports Composite, which is an average of all the major recruiting ranking services, or 24-7 itself have all 18 of Texas Tech's commits ranked in the Texas Top 150. And yeah, so they're all from Texas, which makes a lot of sense. But uh, another nice pickup. He was one of the silent commits. Uh, Scarab uh, visited, took an official visit the weekend of June 16th through the 18th. So Part of that, I think there was 15 or 16 guys on that weekend, those back-to-back -back weekends that were so pivotal in terms of uh, closing on a lot of these these guys that had been recruiting for a long time. I believe Texas Tech was uh, Escara's first offer, and then a bunch started falling after that, which is another common theme. Texas Tech, under Joey McGuire, uh, Director of Player Personnel, James Blanchard, are really getting in on these recruits early, and it helps a lot. It really does. That's something these recruits really care about. I mean, it's not the determining factor necessarily in a lot of these commits but it is a factor so great job once again uh, from the whole coaching staff uh, Marcel Yates I don't mention him enough uh, defensive back field coach former head coach came over with defensive coordinator Tim DeRuiter from Oregon he's doing a great job of getting a lot of talent uh, here in Lubbock in terms of in, in, in the defensive backfield so for now I want to thank you for watching and until next time